Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. Hope you guys are doing great. Today we are going to create something like this. Without any further ado, let's get started. First create a composition with full HD settings. Let's name it Glossy Logo. For cinematic look, keep the frame rate 29.97, and duration of 8 seconds. Alright, let's bring some project files for this logo animation. You will get all the files from the link in the description. Drag down your logo layer on the timeline. Adjust the size and position. Then right click on the layer, and pre-composed it. Give it a name. And make sure to check move all attributes. Let's drag this reflection map into this composition icon, to make a separate composition. Now go to effects and presets, and search for offset. Apply it on the layer. Add a keyframe on shift center, then go forward to last frame, and change the value something like this. Alright, now come back to the main composition, and bring this reflection composition here. Make sure to place it under the logo layer. And change the track mat to alpha mat. Now select this reflection layer, and apply CC glass effect on it. Open surface, then change the bump map to logo com. Change the softness value near about 75. Height value 100. And displacement value something between minus 300 to minus 350. Let's increase the logo size a little bit, so we can see the changes. This looks fine to me. Now search for CC Blobby Lies Effects, and apply it on the reflection layer. Open Blobbiness, and change the blob layer to the logo com. Change the softness value near about 10. And cut away value 0. You can change these values according to your logo or text. Now search for glow effect, and apply it on the layer. Change the glow radius value to 150. Now select both layers, and pre-composed it. Give it a name you like, and check move all attributes. Alright, press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. Now search for Gaussian Blur Effects, and apply it on the layer. Make the blurriness value 200. Also change blur dimensions to horizontal. Now change the blend mode to screen. Press F4 if you can't see blend mode option here. Right now, the shine amount is too much on the logo. Let's search for levels, and apply it on the layer. Click here to get a point, and drag it towards the black to get a realistic shine. Nice. This looks perfect to me. Now you can duplicate this layer, and just change the blur dimensions to vertical. Great, we are done with the logo. Let's create a solid layer for background. Apply a fill effect, so we can change the background color easily.
Now bring the smoke footage into the timeline. Place it under the logo layers, and change the blend mode to overlay. Also bring the particle footage into the timeline, and change the blend mode to add. Now create an adjustment layer. Search for curves effect, and apply it on the layer. Now set the RGB curve something like this. Now search for tint effect, and apply on the layer. Change the amount of tint to 20%. Actually it depends on the color of your background. Now search for photo filter effect, and apply it on the layer. Change the filter to red, and density value to 50%. Let's place this adjustment layer under our logo layers, so it does not affect our logo. Alright, we are almost done, let's give it a cinematic look. First create a solid layer with black color. Then create a mask like this. Change the mask to subtract, and increase the feather value, so it blends with the background. Adjust the size according to your logo. Let's create another solid with black color. This time create a mask like this. Change the mask mode to subtract. Adjust the shape a little bit. This looks perfect to me. Let's give it a final touch. Select all these logo layers, and bring position and scale properties. Now go to 2 seconds, and add keyframes on both. Then come back to first frames, and change the values something like this. Now select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and change the curves something like this. Now bring opacity property also, then go forward to 15 frames, and add a keyframe on opacity. Then come back to first frame, and change the value to 0. Select all these keyframes, and easy ease them. Also change the graph something like this. And we are done. Press spacebar to ramp review this. Nice, this looks great to me. By the way, you can replace this logo with any other logo. Just go to the logo com, and replace this logo with any other logo. But make sure to change the logo color to white for better results. Just like this. I suggest you to use only horizontal Gaussian blur when you use a logo with text. Anyway, I just show you the way, but destination is yours. Alright, let's wrap it up for today. See you guys on the next video.
Until then keep learning, and as I say, always try to think outside the box.